Hello everybody and welcome to assignment D. This is the front page, 57. And here we're talking about patterns and conjectures. Okay, for numbers 1, 2, and 3, describe the pattern and make a conjecture about the next number in the sequence. Okay, well if we look at the pattern, negative 5, positive 10, negative 20, positive 40. It appears that we are uh, multiplying by a negative 2 each time. Okay, so I'll just put that in parentheses to show multiply by negative 2, and then the next one in the pattern, 40 times negative 2, would be a negative 80. Okay, for number 2, we go 1 to 10 to 100 to 1,000. It appears that we are multiplying by 10 each time. Next up, 1,000 times 10 would be 10,000. That's the next number in the sequence. Uh, for number 3, we have 1, then 6 fifths, 7 fifths, 8 fifths. Now, we kind of see the pattern with the last three. We may not see it with this one. Well, one can be rewritten as 5 over 5. So, if we start out with 5 fifths, 6 fifths, 7 fifths, 8 fifths. We can see that we are adding 1 fifth each time. So, the next number in the sequence would be 9 fifths. That could also be written as 1 and 4 fifths if you wanted. Either one of those works. Okay, for number four, five, six, and seven, it says make a conjecture based on the given information. Draw a figure to illustrate your conjecture. Okay. Um, points A, B, and C. Okay, well, we should probably plot those points. We'll draw a quick coordinate plane here just so we can kind of see where they would lie. Okay, now I'm not going to be exact here. I'm just going to approximate. Negative one, negative one. It's about right here. A. Right 2 up 2 would be B. Right 4 up 4 would be C. Oh, and they all appear to be on a line. So my conjecture would be that points A, B, and C are collinear. That's my conjecture. A, B, and C are collinear. And after drawing the picture, we can see that that conjecture that I just made seems to be true. Okay, number five, angles one and two form a right angle. Okay, well, draw a picture of that. Here's a right angle with the symbol, and I'll make angles one and two from that. Here's angle one, here's angle two. Okay, and since those are a right angle, I'm going to make a conjecture. I'm going to say they are complementary. Angles one and angles two are complementary. That's a conjecture based on the information. Uh, number six, A, B, C, and D, B, E are vertical angles. So I'm going to draw a picture of vertical angles. Line, line, and apparently B here is in the middle. That is the point of intersection. And let's put A here. Let's put C here. So there's angle A, B, C. D, B, E, here's D, here's B, and here's E. So yeah, I have the situation. These two angles are vertical. So uh, I'm going to make a conjecture on that. If I have vertical angles, I'm going to say um, those two angles are congruent. Uh, angles A, B, C is congruent to angle D, B, E. There's my conjecture based on the information. Uh, angles E and F are right angles. Okay, I'll draw angle E. Call that angle E. And I'll also draw angle F. Let's make it go this way. Okay, and then I'm going to make a conjecture based on that. Hmm. Well, they both measure 90 degrees. I could say that. Uh, they both um, are congruent. I can say that. Either one of those works. I'm going to go with angle E and angle F are congruent. And there's the congruent symbol.